You're watching Quad Cities Live. Most of us have read the book or seen the movie Peter Pan. Well, you won't want to miss the imaginative portrayal of how Peter and Wendy came to be. Mike Schultz from the Spotlight Theater in Moline joins us now with their new show, Peter and the Star Catcher. Indeed. Thank you so much for being on Quad Cities Live. Thank Great you to for have having you. Me, Jake. I appreciate that. It's fun so, to be here. So, your character um, is a pretty important role that you yeah. play. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's Captain Hook, basically. That's like he's kind of important in the Peter Pan. But you saga. have a different name. I do. This is uh, in the show. I am called Black Stash uh, because you have to find out how he becomes Peter Hook. So he has two fully functional hands at the beginning of the show. You'll have to come see it if you want to see if he has two by the end of the show. So that might change. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. So give us a kind of a, kind of an overview of what we can expect. Absolutely. Well, like you mentioned, it's basically an origin story for Peter Pan, um, as opposed to an origin story for Wendy, though. It's more an origin for her mom, uh, Mrs. Darling. Her character's name is Molly in the show. But it shows you how Molly and Peter eventually met. And it also gives you an origin for, as mentioned, uh, Captain Hook and also Tinkerbell. And uh, it'll feature Smee, who's Captain Hook's uh, associate. Lots of pirates, lots of, uh, uh, you know, just different characters all put together by a cast of almost 20 people playing roughly 75 to 80 characters. So really? It's it's nuts. It's a lot of changing of, uh, change of identities throughout the show, different costume pieces is representing different characters. It's a uh, it's a blast. It was nominated for 9 Tonys. It won 5 Tonys. It's a great great show. Give well, or take everyone on cast or everyone on the cast is playing like what five roles or something. It's, it's, I mean, it's multiple nuts. Roles. Yeah, oh, a wow. few people play like only one person and then sure. there are people who play like seven or eight. It's it's just uh it, and it just moves like crazy. It's just it's um, it's a roller coaster. It really is. It's very great. very cool. So how long is the production? It is uh, about with the intermission probably about two fifteen I would guess uh, a couple of uh, yeah one hour each uh, for the X and then then a halftime uh, and it starts at uh, seven p.m. and so you'll still get home at a relatively decent hour. Um, yeah, it's uh, but it's. It's one of the most fun shows I've ever done. I was lucky enough to get to do it in a production, an area production five years ago as well. And uh, the opportunity came to audition for it again. And this was number one on my bucket list of shows I would absolutely do again in a heartbeat. Are it's you, just that much fun. Are you playing the same character? I am indeed, around? yes. Oh. I am indeed. So the lines were half there at the start, which <laughs> what, was great. What spoke to you about Black Stash? It's, it's so well written. This show is just insanely funny. It's a, a friend the other day referenced Shrek and asked if it's like that. And I I would not have compared them, but the more I thought about it, the more it really is. It's a fairy tale, but it has modern references. It has musical numbers that kind of pop out of nowhere. It has a really kind of sardonic sense of humor, but it's also incredibly sweet. Um, and so it's it, it kind of has that, uh, that irreverent tone while also giving you an actual J.M.M. Barry story at the end of the day. Well, without giving anything away, okay. are there a, are a few surprise moments that we should look for? Oh, for sure, yeah. Um, do not miss the beginning of Act 2 by any means. Uh, try not to miss <laughs> the end of Act 1, I would say. Um, but the whole thing is full of surprises, and it has, if you've been to the theater at all in the past seven years, you're going to recognize someone in it. There's, oh, Jacob Johnson and Amelia Fisher and Chris Tracy and Adam Sanders and... Nancy Tierling, you could go on and on with the number of great people in it that I've never worked with before, and so it's extra exciting for me. Local yeah. theater is so special. It is indeed, absolutely. I, oh, I got very lucky <laughs> being able to be part of that community, for sure. Well, we invite everyone out to Peter and the Star Catcher. It is uh, happening this weekend and next. Um, there is both um, an evening showing, and then on Sundays there's a matinee showing mm -hmm. at 2. You can get your tickets online, and, and you can actually pick your seats, which is really cool option that they have there at the Spotlight Theater, and you can visit them online at thespotlighttheaterqc.com. Thanks, Mike, so much for a being pleasure. with us. A pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yes.